welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia and today we are going to be learning backward counter turns. I'm very excited about this one. I know a lot of you have been wanting those counter turn tutorials, so here we have it. Now if you haven't learned your forward counters yet, you need to do that first. So I'll post a link down to that below as well as some other things that I think are going to be very helpful for you. Three turns, backward three turns, edges brackets and those kinds of things down below because you want to brush up on all of those turns, the three turns, brackets and forward counters before you learn the backward counters. But if you've learned those, we're ready to get started. So we have moved to these curling circles because it really helps you to visualize where those counter turns are going to be. But you do not need curling circles to practice this. You can do these on a line or anywhere that you can see a clear axis. If you have a rink that has hockey lines, you can set the hockey line down the center of your axis where the turn is gonna take place. Or if you don't have hockey lines, try to spot something on the wall that you can use as a reference where your center is going to be. You want to know where that center is because otherwise these can get, you can get lost on these. So we are going to start with our right back outside counter, okay? Now for these counters, you're going to start with your upper body facing in towards the circle. Okay, these are very much like brackets. So if you've learned your brackets, you're gonna apply those same technique ideas to your counters. They're like siblings, okay? So we're gonna start with our body facing in. I am gonna be pushing with my left foot so I can get onto my right back outside edge to mimic the shape of this curling circle. Okay, now I am going to put my free foot to the side just like this so I can control it. There's a lot of different techniques on where you put your free foot. If your coach has a different idea about where your free foot should be, just follow what your coach is saying. I don't see you guys in person, so I can't give you the same kind of a technique as your personal coach. So if your personal coach sees you're struggling with something and wants you to put your foot in a specific place, just follow what they're saying. Okay, so my right hand is in the back. I'm gonna push onto my outside edge. I'm gonna lift my toe and now I'm on my right forward outside edge. So counters, switch circles, but stay on the same edge. So if you're starting on your outside edge, you wanna end on your outside edge. Now, a backward turn turns over the heels, okay? You're lifting the toes and turning over the heels, and that applies to these counters as well. Same idea. You're gonna push, lift the toe, press down with your forward hand, and head on to the other circle. So now we're gonna switch and do our left back outside edge counter. So I have switched circles so that I have a nice clean pattern to work on. So we're starting on the other side of the circle from where we just were. So um, the same exact thing, we're just doing the mirror opposite of it. So my body is facing inside the circle as I'm going backwards, okay? And once I turn, I'm gonna be facing away from the circle on the other side. Now you wanna take this leading hand, the one that's in front of you, and press down and towards where you're trying to go. Okay, if that leading hand floats away, your whole body is going to wobble around. You're not going to be able to control that edge. So when you're fit, you do the turn, you're going to press down with your leading hand onto the circle. Okay, so let's give this one a try. Keep that core engaged, hips tucked under. As always with these moves in the field, you want to keep your shoulders over your hips, okay? So that you don't have anything throwing you off and making it more difficult to do these turns. So you can see my hand is pressed and it's saying, I wanna go on that line. I wanna be right there. And my body is following that strong hand around the circle. So on these turns, you kinda of wanna think about almost pre-rotating your upper body around. It helps you get the lower body to turn. So you can see I'm really cranking my upper body around right before that foot flips up and over, okay? And then pressing down with that leading hand. Okay, so I'm gonna push onto my outside edge, crank my upper body around, and then press and check out nice and strong. We're 
we're now back on our original set of two circles because we're gonna be doing insides. So I'm gonna start with my left back inside counter turn. This means I'm gonna end on my left forward inside edge because again, we stay on the same edge, we're just switching circles. Okay, so for this one, you're gonna give yourself kind of a funny little push. It's like a little swizzle, and then your foot will come up, okay? Uh, just kind of like your back inside edges, all right? So if you've learned your back inside edges, which you should have at this point if you're working on these, you want that same kind of a little swizzly push to give yourself some power. Again, I'm facing inside the circle on the intro and facing outside the circle on the second half. Okay, so these are gonna be inside edges. I'm gonna give myself a push. My free foot's gonna go behind me. I'm gonna lift and check in a crossed position. Okay, so on the exit, I am still, I wanna face out, which means I'm crisscrossed. Okay, it's kind of a weird position. Gets you a really nice tight twist in your waist. You wanna exit like this. You have swizzle, foot up, press, and press. So before my turn, I pre-rotated, just as I did on the outsides, twisted that body around so I can see where I'm going. I have a strong leading hand, and then I turn, and I keep that strong leading hand telling me where to go. Let's try that one more time on this foot. So we're gonna go push, free leg comes up, check, and check. So now we have one more backward counter to learn. We're gonna be doing our right back inside edge counter, which is gonna end us on our right forward inside edge. So I've switched circles again so I can do the other shape. Our body is facing in on the beginning, facing out on the ending. I'm gonna have that really strong core. Your core is so important on these counters. Gonna give yourself that funny little push with the left. Free foot goes behind you. You're gonna lift your toe and check. So with these backward turns, your toes lift up. To make the turns, you're turning over the back of your skate. Let's try that again. Hips under, strong core, shoulders over hips. Use your knees. Give yourself a push. Lead with that left hand. Check, lead with that left hand. All right, skaters, I hope you enjoyed that backward counter tutorial. Now you have an opportunity to learn both the forward counters and the backward counters, okay? I'll put that forward counter link down below so you can get all eight of your counter turns. As always, I love seeing your progress videos, so please tag me on Instagram at skatingcoachjulia so I can see your progress. If you enjoyed this, please do give us that thumbs up. And as always, I look forward to reading all your comments in the section down below. If you haven't done so yet, then hit that subscribe button and the little notifi notification bell down in the corner so you can see all my videos when they come out. Happy skating, and I'll see you next time.